Welcome to How It's Fixed. In today's video, we will take out the fender for 2017 Toyota Corolla. The very first step is we lift up the car because this will help us to make some space and we take out the necessity clips and bolts. We then start the takeout process by taking out clips and bolts from the bottom, from right side and then left side, and then finally from the top. So let's jump into this. In the middle, we notice there are some straightforward clips. I'll be using the door upholstery remover to take out those clips. The middle clip already came out due to an accident. We need to turn the tire to take out two screws from the mudguard. Once those two screws are taken out, there's actually a 10mm screw right underneath the mudguard and we need to take that out as well. Once mudguard is taken out, now we need to take out the clips attached between the fender liner and fender. Clips like these have two arms, you just have to push both arms one by one to take these clips out. The same we do for the bottom clip. This guy came out with a slightly different approach. Moving on there's also a clip right underneath and honestly we tried really hard to take it out properly but it was just so much stubborn and I ended up breaking it. Since we are already taking a look at the bottom, might as well take out those two 10mm screws attached with the bottom of fender. For some reason they have really thick paint on them so make sure you really push hard to take out those two screws. Slightly pull the fender, don't be surprised to see the dirt coming out of it. Now we open the front door, there's actually a screw right in the middle of the fender and the door and we have to take out that 10mm screw. There it is. But we notice the fender is still not losing its grip, there is something holding the fender right behind. To figure out, we have to take out the end clip of fender liner, another mudguard type clip. The inside cover needs to come out. And we have to take out that square shaped clip for that. Once done, now we have to pull the cover right and left until the time it's completely taken out. There we see one 10mm screw hidden and we have to take it out. We would notice now the fender is losing its grip. We also take out the mirror finisher because there is one 10mm screw right behind. Now we jump on to the left side. Okay, so this bumper side, in my case, it's already broken. In the perfect world, you're trying to take out the fender. What you do, you take this clip out, which is on the corner of the bumper, and then you pull the bumper slightly. Once you pull the bumper, you would notice there are two screws, one here 
and then one there but those two screws are on the bracket so you have to take out the bracket and the fender both together i hope i was able to understand it properly in my case they've already came out so i'm not able to demonstrate to you guys but since i was pulling this off i noticed there is that screw left to be opened i don't know if i can show it to you properly yeah it's right there so i need to take that screw out i'll be putting my arm inside and we'll be taking it out with an mm wrench so I tried multiple times to take out that screw but that screw is actually turning out along with that bracket. Reason why that plastic bracket is actually broken. Yeah there's no way it's going to come out. Since the plastic bracket is actually broken behind so there's no point of taking that screw out. Now we jump on to the other screw which is right underneath. So we are heading towards the final step. We open the hood and take out the necessary three screws from top of the fender. The fourth screw is actually towards the windshield covered under the plastic piece. Followed by another glued plastic piece which we slightly need to pull. There you would notice the final 10mm screw which we need to take out. All screws are taken out, now we gently pull the fender. Remember in my case the plastic bracket was broken and I was not able to take out the screw. But in the perfect world if you're trying to take out the fender, you have to take out this 10mm screw. Just wanted to touch base on that before we move forward. That was it, we ended up taking out the fender completely. If this video helps you in any way, please consider liking this video and subscribing to our channel. Here's the section for our other DIY videos, feel free to take a look at them and I'll catch you in the next video.